Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2001 Itasca. Uh, this is a Class C motorhome. It's got about 70,000 miles on it. Um, overall, it's in really good shape, but let's take a quick walk around it and I'll show you uh, what's wrong with it or, or the basic condition of the RV. Um, most of the tires look good. The, the right rear tire is, is, I'll show you in a second, is a little um, worn out. But uh, I think the tires were all replaced in 06 or 07. There, some of them have dates of 06. Uh, I notice up here there's some screws and some caulk. So this was probably put on here to just hold the wall. It was was starting to peel out because they come out of the bottom edge. But inside I didn't notice any leakage or anything. And um, it's, it's been taken care of nicely. We've seen some good rainstorms around here. Didn't see any problems with it. Also here, there is some damage on the door just from it opening into the awning bracket and th this uh, L bracket is pulled out and been refastened. So it's working nicely now, but it's just got a repair on it. Uh, looking up at the awning though, which matches the color of the coach, looks like the original is really nice and clean. Great condition. So, and also, uh, you know, when you go in this RV or on the outside, it doesn't really show signs of leakage or issues like a lot of RVs do. The walls are all flat and smooth. Uh, typically when they get a lot of leakage, they get all wavy and delaminated. So, all right, moving on. Uh, one thing I notice is when you open up the compartment doors on this, everything's nice and clean inside. There's no rust. Um, this is an Itasca, but that is manufactured by the Winnebago Company, and they're basically well known as a good quality RV manufacturer. So they've got like thicker doors and nicer latches and bigger gaskets on their doors. So, you know, a couple little benefits. Oh, and then this is the tire. This is the worst looking tire. So I, I would say overall, oh, and this one's dated 2005. I'd say overall this coach could use a new set of tires, but um, if you're going to camp local with it, they're probably fine. All right, just looking up and down on the wall, it's clean, no damage on the RV. Looks nice. Got the LP tank over here, and there's an outside shower out here. So you got hot and cold water out here. And then I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but underneath the framing, all the automotive portion is clean, no rust. So even though this coach is, is from Illinois, it does not have the typical rust that we see up here. All right, the back overall looks in good shape. Um, I notice that there's some, just some touch-up paint on the back bottom wall. Just some minor stuff. I, I don't think it's covering up any damage or anything. I think it's just covering up overspray. And the decals are peeling in the back a little bit. Um, again, the, the upper wall all looks clean, damage-free. Uh, this is like an access to your to your water pump, but this is also a winterized pickup. So you can basically, uh, if you don't know how to winterize the RV, this, this makes it really easy to do. And there's the electric cord. It's about a 20 foot long cord. And here is the generator. Um, so a typical thing about Winnebago or Itasca is that they would use a good brand of generator like an Onan. This is a Micro Quiet 4000. It's a really nice quiet generator. Okay, here's the holding tank dump. Another nice feature about purchasing a Winnebago product is the company is uh, still very financially healthy and in business. And actually, all these after or all these parts for these RVs are still available through Winnebago. All right, another benefit of Winnebago is that the slide is designed by the HWH Corporation. My experience with these things is that they last the lifetime of the coach, don't have leakage issues, and don't have service issues. So um, 
Winnebago or HWH Corporation makes a very reliable slide out for, the, for Winnebago. So you've got on, on, a, on this product, the storage slides out with the slide. So when the slide comes out, you don't have to get underneath to access these compartments. Very convenient. The chassis cab, all this looks very clean, no rust. And I'm going to pop the hood. This RV, uh, again, has 70,000 miles on it. The V10 engine is excellent, very clean. And real quick, I'm going to start it. I just want to make note of the fact that uh, there's no belt squealing, there's no ticks or squeaks or anything. It's very quiet. The, the engine sounds like a brand new engine. Um, and looking under here, I don't know exactly the service history of this RV, but there's information written down about the oil changes, there's a new battery, the belts and hoses all look in good shape. So I think this is going to be a very, very reliable chassis and engine. let's take a walk inside now you know you own a luxury RV when you have an electric step okay the I don't know why I find this in almost every Winnebago product I sell especially older ones but the carpets get discolored so uh, this carpet is kind of discolored. It doesn't look too worn out, but just kind of the nature. They take a little bit of a beating. Um, up front, the, the chairs all look good. Doesn't look worn out. And um, got the nice Ford chassis. It's a good setup. So this all makes into a bed like that. Or or actually what I want to mention is uh, a real common issue with Class C motorhomes is mold and mildew under the, the mattress. And um, this is all nice and clean under here. It doesn't show any signs of leakage. So you got nice big countertops. The range and oven are all clean. And the microwave too. Real clean. And you got a television back here. And the fridge looks clean. And look at all this storage for the kitchen. So that's pretty huge. So this is where you start the generator and where the level test is for your tanks, like your water, water tank and your holding tanks. Um, so this is an eight sleeper RV. You've got this bed that makes, the dinette makes to a bed. The sofa makes to a bed. The overhead bed is a queen size, and then in the back is a, what they call like a side aisle queen. So a lot of, lot of light in the back here, and a lot of storage, all kinds of storage under the bed. And let's just take a look in the bathroom. So this door is designed to open up and block off the living area here. So you have a walk-through bath, they call it. The uh, shower, got a lot of room in here. I do notice from, from the years of using this shower, there's a little bit of mildew on the ceiling. That's very common, or it's very common that they're actually much worse than that. So. That looks, uh, that should be noted. The skylight though does look nice and clean and dry. And you got a nice sink. Winnebago builds in a real wood medicine cabinet instead of a plastic one, which is nice. And then the toilet looks clean. So, all right, let's go take this RV for a drive. 
Okay, one thing I wanted to mention before we take the RV for a drive is that this thing has airbags on the front coils and it also has new shocks all around. So again, signs of good maintenance. All right, we're going to take the uh, Itasca for a drive and check out how it moves. All right. I'm giving it full throttle and it's really got great pickup. All right, there you go. That's 55 miles an hour. Um, the RV drives really smooth. Um, we've been driving it for a while and I'd say, you know, I don't feel any difference from the way they drove when they're new. Uh, the steering, the brakes, the transmission, all feels great. The exhaust sounds nice and quiet. so. I think whoever gets this RV is going to love it.